Hey everyone, CPO here, and I just made a modification to my float fender. This is the V2, and uh, I made it easier to put on and take off if that's even possible. So it was raining out a little bit earlier today and I wanted to go for a ride. I thought, oh, I should probably put the fender on, but then I'm lazy. So I didn't want to unscrew all four of the thumb screws, put it on, retighten them down. So I came up with a solution. Let me show you. And then you can decide if it's anything that matters to you or not. So essentially what I did is I slotted the holes in the fender to make it quick release. So instead of having to remove the thumb screws, all I have to do is loosen them, loosen those two, loosen these two, and then this is going to pop right off. And then I'm fenderless, obviously, I could tighten these back down. Um, and then to put it back on, I literally just set it into place and then slide it in. And then the other side, same thing, slide it in. And then just a couple of turns to tighten the thumb screws down. And it's good to go again. Now, the way I slotted it, I did it uh, the rear opposite of the front so that there will be some tension so it won't it won't come off just sliding side to side um, there's enough tension because of the fender itself so this will make more sense here in a second all right all right so you can see here how they're slotted opposite of each other so that way there's some tension there to sort of hold it into place. So these are slotted in the same direction on the foot pad side, same with these. But then from the front to the rear foot pad, they're opposite of each other. So, um, and how I did this, literally a pair of scissors. I have kitchen scissors that worked perfectly and I just cut them. Um, and again, with the thumb screws slightly loose, like halfway loose. I can just slide them in and then do the other side and then just tighten them down. Seems to hold pretty well and, and it's actually great for lazy people like me who may want to put on a fender uh, and are jealous of the magnetic fender mounts, but want something lightweight that you could like throw in a backpack. So if I'm out and about and I want to remove it, you know, I don't have to figure out what to do with a huge plastic fender. I just loosen this up, remove it, roll it up, throw it in my backpack, and then just spin these down so I don't lose them. and I'm good to go. So anyway guys, that's my modification of the Float Life Float Fender V2. Pretty simple mod, really. Um, I don't know over time how well these are gonna hold up. You know, you have to be careful um, with them, but yeah, so far it's working out great for me, so thought I'd share. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you on the next one.